Hi, I'm Noel Frank with Coach's Corner. What we want to do with this video is to discuss and give you some points about identifying the fiber content in upholstery fabric. And the reason is, in our industry, we have many more claims involving upholstery fabric than we do carpet. So it's important for us to know what we're cleaning so we don't have any claims. First of all, understanding the difference between fiber and fabric. Fiber is the raw material and fabric is the cloth that's made out of the raw material. Now, the interesting thing is most of all the fibers that we find in upholstery fabric are the same ones we find in carpet with uh, just one or two exceptions. First of all, just a, a brief tutorial about fabric. Fabric is the cloth. It could be a what we call a plain weave fabric like this with a solid color. It could be a twill weave fabric which is like denim which makes a real durable uh, upholstery fabric. It could be a satin weave which has a real nice lustrous look and feel to it. it could be a velvet like this piece of fabric which is a woven velvet. It could be a uh, tufted velvet, like this piece of fabric that we see on a lot of uh, recliners, uh, a very durable fabric, or it could be a flocked velvet, which we also see on a lot of recliners. It's a velvet, but the fibers are glued into a base cloth, therefore that presents its own set of problems. Could be a 100% cotton fabric, such as this one, where the the color is just printed into it. If we had a cushion, we unzip the cushion, we look at the back side, this is what we're going to see. We're going to see the colors shadowing through to the back side. You know that that's a cotton print. Or we could have a much more uh, delicate weave, such as a jacquard weave, which is uh, multidimensional. When we unzip the cushion, look on the back side, we see what we call the photo negative of the top side. Or we might have a very loose weave type of a fabric which has these heavy float yarns. This one happens to be all olefin. Olefin is usually heavily back coated with latex, so that's always a concern. Might have some of the newer microfibers which are very popular with upholstery fabrics could have 100% silk, which is going to be in a very expensive piece of upholstery. And then we're going to have the odd one, which is made out of some kind of exotic fiber. In this particular case, this is mohair, which comes from a goat. But that was made to be an upholstery fabric. So here's what we want to do with fiber identification on, on upholstery. We want to follow a couple of simple rules. Number one, the fabric is a blend of natural fibers and synthetic fibers. We're going to clean that as if the whole thing is natural. That's very important because you're not going to hurt the synthetic fiber. Uh, if uh, it's 100% natural fiber, then we're, we want to change the chemistry. So uh, one of the rules is don't clean upholstery fabric with your carpet cleaning chemicals. We can get away with it a lot, but in the case of maybe that 100% cotton print, uh, at some point, it's, it's not going to withstand the heat and the pressure and the chemistry, and it's going to bleed. And that's when we end up buying it, and we want to prevent that. So, uh, easy way then to identify the fiber content of the fabric. Again, when we unzip that cushion, roll it back on that seam, plenty of material that we can take a knife and cut off just a sliver and then we're still going to do our fiber identification as we do with carpet. So uh, we're going to take a, a piece of the, uh, the fabric, put it into your clip, get it started, check the, the flame, extinguish it, see if you can get a little bit of odor. If it's a blend fiber, you're going to get mixed odors. If it has a tendency to glow like that one does, a little ember, that's almost uh, always a characteristic of a cellulosic uh, fiber content. 
let it cool down. And then if you get some soft ash, that means there's natural fiber. If it's 100% natural like this one, then we would clean it accordingly. If it's a blend with natural fibers, we still clean it as if it's all natural. So a lot of 100% uh, cotton upholstery fabric, and it's usually printed, and it's a real good upholstery fabric. This particular piece came off of that jacquard, and when we burn it, get some black smoke. That's almost always an indication of some synthetic fiber. You get some glowing. That's always an indication of some cellulosic fiber. So we have a blend fabric and we're not going to be able to identify exactly what it is. All we're concerned about, does it have any natural fiber? And when we check the ash, we have hard ash and we have soft ash. So this is a blend. We would clean it like it's all natural. This is uh, that piece of flocked velvet. Now the thing about the flocked velvet is that usually 100% of the time, the face fibers that are glued into the base cloth are nylon because it takes the electric static charge that is used in the construction. Didn't see it there, but there's a little bit of glow. What that tells me is that white base cloth was cut. So they cover it with latex and then they electrostatically charge those fibers so that those, all of those base fibers are synthetic. And then um, we have this little piece here. This came off the silk. If you didn't identify the silk because of its appearance, when we do a fiber ID on it, self extinguishes, protein fibers self extinguish. It has a little bit of odor of um, kind of like uh, feathers or, or uh, burns, uh, burned to hair and 100% soft ash. So that's an indication uh, of, of silk, the odor, and the softness. So uh, with a couple of simple rules, uh, number one, if it has any natural fiber, you clean it like it's all natural. And then uh, number two, don't use your carpet cleaning chemicals to clean upholstery. You'll get away with a lot, but the time we don't, then uh, that's going to be a claim.